Hey guys, say cheese. Hey, how many of you love having your picture taken? How many of you hate having your picture taken, right? Or maybe you would rather be the photographer. That's fun too. I love taking candid photos of people when they don't know. It can kind of be funny. Kind of make them mad too though, right? People have been taking pictures for years. Now, some of them turn out great and some of them not so great. Here are some examples of pictures that didn't turn out so great. Now, some of these people look a little grumpy, don't they? Oh my goodness, if you were their mom or grandma, I bet you weren't very happy at all about how these pictures turned out. Now, sometimes pictures just don't turn out very well. Those grumpy kids were certainly not trying to help capture a picture-perfect moment, were they? I bet maybe they were upset about something. Even though their mom and dad were trying to get them to say cheese and smile, I bet they had some other things steal their joy. That's how life is sometimes. You're trying to bat your best to live a good life, being a picture-perfect Christian, always doing the right thing, and showing you have a good attitude and the joy of the Lord. But all of a sudden, when something bad happens, it's really hard to let your joy shine through. But just like when your mom makes you take that picture over and over again until you actually smile, because smiling for your mom's picture isn't exactly optional, joy is not optional, optional for followers of Jesus. And that is our first lesson today. Joy is not optional. It's a command. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. So if you claim to be a Christian, you must have joy evident in your lives. It's a command. Now remember our power verse? It's a command. It's God's word. Psalm 68, 3 says, But let the godly rejoice. Let them be glad in God's presence. Let them be filled with joy. Having joy isn't optional. You can't just choose when you want to have joy. You can't just choose. You can't just have joy when you come to church or when you're having a good day. You can't just choose to have joy when you feel like it. In fact, that's our next point in today's lesson. Joy is not based on what is happening around you. Guess what that means? It means that no matter what happens to you or around you, you have to have joy. If you're having a bad day, guess what? You have to have joy. If you're sick and throwing up, yep, you got it. You have to have joy. If your dad punishes you for something you did wrong, guess what? Yep, you have to have joy. If something really sad happens, like your dog dies, guess what? Yeah, even though something that is sad and terrible happened, you have to have joy. Now you're probably thinking, wait a second, Pastor Jan, you cannot possibly be serious. I cannot have joy if my dog dies or when I get grounded by my parents. That's impossible. But you know what? It is not impossible. It's actually biblical. James 1, two and, verses 2 and 3 says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. When troubles come your way, boys and girls, it's a chance to grow. God gives us the opportunity to learn from hard times. So when hard times come, we don't have to get upset and quit. 
we can keep going. We can grow and learn. Now that should give us joy because we know that God is always with us and he helps us during those tough times. That's our next lesson. Joy comes when you realize God is with you always. No matter what happens, God is with you always. When you're having a bad day and nothing is going right, God is with you. When you're sick and throwing up, God is with you. When you get in big trouble at home or at school, God is with you. When someone you love moves away or when you find it hard to make friends at school, guess what? God is with you always. And when you realize that God is with you always, you should get excited. You should have joy when you realize that no matter what happens, our great big God is with you. Remember the situation we saw in our video earlier? Let's see what would have happened and what it would have looked like if the boy truly had the fruit of joy in his life. Let's watch. I know, church was amazing this morning. I loved everything about it. Yeah. Okay, well, I better go. All right, girl, I gotta drive. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. All right. Hey, son, how was church for you this morning? It was awesome. Oh, really? What happened? Well, we learned a new song today, and I learned a bunch of the words. Uh, that's great. New songs are so fun. And they asked who had a birthday this week. I raised my hand and they called me up. They gave me this hat and they sung happy birthday to me. Well, that sounds really nice. It was. And the kid on the front row was so excited to see he accidentally spit on me while he was singing. I thought it was hilarious. That is hilarious. And then on the way out, they handed out candy. I didn't find my favorite flavor, but I did get a piece of grape candy. Maybe I can have it for dessert after lunch. Well, hopefully you'll like where we go to lunch. Any place is fine with me. Son, I really appreciate your joyful spirit. It's a blessing. Of course, I have joy. It's a fruit of the spirit, you know. I sure do. See you guys how important it ha is to have joy. That command was a command for a purpose because God knew that there will be times in our lives where things would be hard. But if we have joy, because remember that he is always with us. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I know that there are several that are watching this today that are facing difficult circumstances. Lord God, that we would have joy no matter what circumstances we are facing. No matter what our situation is, Lord God, help us to remember that joy is not optional because we know that you are with us always. We love you. We thank you for the joy of the Lord that is our strength. And help us to remember that in your presence, there is fullness of joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you guys next week when we continue with the fruit of the Spirit. I love you. Bye-bye.